Hi guys, welcome to Melts Media Education Learning Simpler, where we sail through all your academic worries from the field of media and communications. Let us proceed with today's discussion. Hi, today we are talking about mass communication and the topic that we are discussing is culture and communication. Communication and culture develop together, one supporting the other. Communication is expression of a community's culture and culture in turn embodies a community's communication and information needs and practices. Communication and culture are thus essentially tied to each other and we cannot understand one without understanding the other. So since we have already talked about communication, let us now talk about culture. Dictionary.com defines culture as the quality in a person or society that arises from a concern for what is regarded as excellent in arts, letters, manners, scholarly pursuits, etc. From a more lucid point of view, culture is the characteristics and knowledge of a particular group of people encompassing language, religion, cuisine, social habit, music, arts, and so on. Culture encompasses what we wear, how we wear it, our language, our marriages, our music, what we believe is right or wrong, how we sit at the table, and a lot more. How we greet visitors and a million other things form a part of culture. As we can see, culture has both visible as well as invisible elements. A mind map is a diagram for representing tasks, words, concepts or items linked to and arranged around a central concept. It is an easy way to brainstorm thoughts organically. I will keep on making use of mind maps whenever possible for better understanding. This is a culture mind map where you may see some vivid concepts and ideas generally associated with the same. Namely, some of these concepts are civilization, time, stories, habitat, contact, and people. Culture plays an important role in the shaping of the style of communication. The culture in which individuals socialize influences the way they communicate. American anthropologist and cross-cultural researcher Edward T. Hall, for one, believed Culture is communication and communication is culture. The most evident testimony to the variance of culture is the geographic distinction of culture. Let's take language for example. Internationally, nearly 6500 languages are spoken around the roughly 195 countries of the globe. While culture in itself is a huge area to deliberate over, as students of media and communication, we should focus on the symbiotic relation between communication and culture, especially focusing on the important cultural facets. The first one being mass culture. What does the word mass mean to you? It may be a vast, homogeneous, scattered, anonymous or a volatile, dynamic, revolutionary. Hence, mass culture would refer to cultural products that are both mass produced and for mass audiences. Examples include mass media entertainments such as films, television programs, magazines, popular music, leisure goods and mechanically reproduced art. In the negative sense, it is a term used to be trivial when compared to serious high culture or elitism. This can be seen as trivializing of those which are only entertainment. Mass culture is often criticized for its standardization and homogenization. Popular culture, not very different from mass culture, is generally recognized by members of a society as a set of practices that are dominant or prevalent in a society at a given point in time. Heavily influenced in modern times by mass media, popular culture has a way of influencing individuals' attitudes towards certain topics. Pop culture, in short form, refers to cultural products such as music, art, literature, fashion, dance, film and cyber culture 
that is consumed by the majority of a society's population. Popular culture is those types of media that have mass accessibility and appeal. Then how is it any different from mass culture? The difference is slight and not very airtight. Some critics saw the market forces producing mindless mass produced culture with monetary aims and labeled it as mass culture. So, mass culture is something that is mass produced and on the other hand, popular culture is something that is consumed widely. Popular culture is simply culture that is widely favored or well liked by many people. It has no negative connotations. Still, you may find arguable versions of both these terms and that would simply be another perspective to explain these. Now we talk about folk culture which refers to a culture traditionally practiced by a small homogeneous group living in relative isolation from other groups. Historically handed down through oral tradition, it demonstrates the old ways over novelty and relates to a sense of community. It involves creative hobby activities that are based on folk traditions, intangible cultural heritage, study, preservation and recording, public events, activities of a society, courses and supplementary training. We often hear the saying, change is the biggest constant and it is communication that steers change in a society. With interaction and free flow of communication among various societies, all with their own cultures, it becomes inevitable to have a cultural change over a period of time. Conversely, since culture changes over time, the patterns of communication also evolve, giving a new meaning to individual as well as group identity. The more likely people are to communicate about something, the more likely that it compared to other less communicable things will become and remain culturally normative. Hence, it is imperative that we understand and grasp these basic notions of culture in order to effectively understand communication. That will be all for today. I hope you study and explore more about the symbiotic relation between culture and communication. Thank you. So that was all for today. I hope you like this video. Do share it with friends who you think may benefit from this. If you have any doubts or suggestions, do reach out to me in the comment section or on the FB page. Hope to see you soon with the next discussion. Thank you.